let's have single liners of MCQs. When we look at the Codman's triangle and sunburst appearance, the most common tumor that you should think about is osteosarcoma. When you think about WHO, how will you diagnose TB spine? It is going to be by biopsy because tissue diagnostic. And what will you do in that? CVNAT. That is what the investigation to be done. When you talk about any fracture in intertrochantric or the shaft of femur, how will you treat it? I will treat it with intramedullary nailing. When you talk about if there's a foosh in a patient and patient comes to you with anatomical tenderness, x-ray is normal, what will you do? I'll apply a thumb spike a cast and ask him to come back after two weeks. When you talk about an RA patient with neck pain, what are you suspecting? Atlanto-oxial instabilities, the upper end of cervical spine unstable. When you look at a child or an adult of 18 years of age, remember that the age of ossification, that is the skeletal maturity is 18, 16, 18, 16, 18, 16. So at the age of 18, you usually are going to do a knee and a wrist x-ray. When you look at the longitudinal growth of a patient, if the epiphyseal plate of the physis is damaged, it is going to be affected. Area for which if you have a diaphyseal area shown right in the middle of a femur and there is a presentation of an osteomyelitis, you must think about Ewing sarcoma because that is what is number one asked when the presentation of osteomyelitis is there. When the metaphysis is there and they show you an aggressive periosteal action, think about osteosarcoma. My friends, Ewing sarcoma has translocation 11 to 22. Remember that it's very, very important for you guys to remember. And remember an okay sign. This is for anterior and tortuous nerve, a branch of the median nerve. And this is dependent upon the flexor policies longus and FDP lateral half. Whenever there's a cubitus varus or gunstock deformity, think about supracondylar fractures of the humerus. Whenever there is a Gartland classification with displaced supracondylar humerus, that's going to be Gartland's type 3. Type 4, they will never ask you. Remember, nailing is secondary healing. Plating is primary healing, right? The image shown for fixation of intertrochantric fracture is dynamic hip screw. This was done earlier or for undisplaced fracture. Nowadays, it's almost being replaced by the proximal femoral nails. If there's a trans transition of the vertebra, break from anterior part of the vertebral body, push out of the vertebral body, sharing the spinous process, that's called as a chance fracture, also called a jackknife or the seat belt injury. Jefferson fracture is for atlas, hangman is for H2. Remember this point. The, the whiplash injury is hyperextension followed by flexion. Burst fracture when the anterior and the posterior part of the vertebral body are gone and when only anterior are gone, that's called as a wedge fracture because wedge fracture is something that you should remember. Music